this hour. Uh, Zulu King Goodwill Zuelitini has died. He had been in hospital receiving medical care for high glucose levels. The king passed away in the early hours of this morning and in a statement earlier, the royal family thanked the nation for its continued support and prayers. Well, the king was only 73 mm. years old when he met his untimely death and uh, he was born back in uh, 1948 on the 14th of July in Nongoma, in KwaZulu Natal. And uh, we understand that this is, is, is coming as a shock to the family because, yeah. you know, obviously the statement being released by the MP, uh, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi. Mm. Uh, we're going to now just talk to our senior reporter, that's uh, ENCS, Sipamantla Koga, who's been following stories concerning the king for some time now. Sipamantla, uh, good morning to you, colleague. We're talking, we're talking rather under such sad circumstances, the Zulu nation, South Africans having, uh, waking up to the news of the king. Uh, let's just reflect on the news today and perhaps what information you have so far just upon receiving this statement. Well, indeed, it's a sad day not only for the Zulu nation, but I guess across South Africa and across Africa. Remember, here you are talking about someone whose kingdom is one of the biggest kingdoms, not only in South Africa, but in Africa. He is a direct descendant of the great King Shaka, and he is one of the longest serving Amazulu kings. If my memory serves me well, he is the only one to have reigned for many years, like he has been the monarch of the Zulu nation for. So here you are talking about a very powerful somebody. And I've been speaking to some people from the royal palace, you know, they are telling me that the sun has set on the Zulu nation and they are saying the nation has been left without a shelter. Remember, there has been stability for many years, ever since King Kutil Zuelichi Niga was coronated in 1971. So from 1971 up until today, there has been a relative stability in the Zulu kingdom. Of course, he has reigned and he has ruled through different periods during apartheid and also during the transition to a democratic South Africa. His nation was engulfed by political violence. He oversaw his people being killed during that political violence in the 80s and in the 90s. And during a democratic dispensation, our viewers would recall that he has been fighting for the issue of the land under Ingo Nyama. So he is someone who has ruled and reigned over a number of periods well even though there was stability in terms of succession in the zulu kingdom but his reign has been characterized by different periods but at least amazulu will say there has been stability in terms of having one king for so long now his passing simply means that the nation now will have to have a new king and also the issue of stability will come into play here. Remember, he was regarded as a unifying force in the Zulu kingdom, even though there were issues at times, but once he has spoken, at least his subjects will listen to him. So his passing is a huge, huge loss, not only for the Zulu nation, for the entire country and the continent, because he is one of the longest serving monarchs right. in the world, if I'm not mistaken, apart from Queen Elizabeth, he is also one of the longest serving monarchs. Yeah, I mean, Supermata, let's reflect also on just uh, his ill health, uh, you know, in the recent past having seen even uh, Member of Parliament Prince Mangosutu Butelezi talking to ENCA uh, in the past couple of months, uh, reassuring the country that the king, uh, yes indeed, was in hospital, but he was showing improvement, he was doing well. Uh, Mangosutu Butelezi thanking the nation for their prayers and their thoughts, but also debunking some of those then rumours that the king had died, saying that it's absolutely false and it's just sad to see those rumours the king was doing well. Uh, so definitely we know in fact that he did die in hospital. Yes, we know. That's a fact. And in fact, uh, I think when those reports were faced earlier on that he was no more, I think at that time the issue was that uh, if you look at it in terms of uh, uh, the reports that were surfacing, it was reported that he was no more. He was in hospital. And what prompted the speculation for the first time in the history of Amazulu Nation, you will have the traditional prime minister, Prince Mangosu Tubutel, is releasing the statement about the king's health or ill health. That tells you about the seriousness at that time. He was airlifted from Wanongoma to Deben, one of the hospitals, and he has been there for a number of weeks. So he passed away in hospital, and he has been there ever since. 
at some point it was reported that he was recovering, but about a week or so, his health took yeah. the worst turn. So he passed away in hospital, and uh, the statement was released by Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, who is the traditional prime minister of the Zulu nation, mm-hmm. who served the current king's father, or the late king's father as well. So he is the only person who was going to issue that statement in terms of royal protocol and right. communication. Colleague, I have to ask you about the impact of King Goodwill Zuelitini's uh, death on the royal family. What do you think it looks like, or will be? They are devastated. I've spoken to some royal family members, including some of his brothers and you know, children. They are very devastated. Remember, he, uh, for them, he is a brother, he is a father. For the Zulu nation, he was their king, but they are devastated. And also remember that this tragedy follows another tragedy where the late king lost his eldest son, Prince Lechuk Tula. So they were still trying to come to terms with that. I remember but a few months ago in death and I interviewed the king and asked him about his in fact one of the last public appearances and the last interview that he did, he did it with ENCA in death and where he reflected on the passing of his son. He said he was devastated and the royal family was still trying to come to terms with that and now they have to come to terms with his passing. So it's a very difficult period for them. I've spoken to some of them. They are very devastated but right now we understand that Prince Mangosutu Mutelezi is on his way to death and to finalize the logistics and the preparations and then all royal family members will move to Wanongoma. That's where everything will be done, we understand. All right, we'll leave it there, colleague, and I'm sure more will still to come, just in terms of reaction across the country uh, from the king's past. Thank you so much, Sipaman Kakoke.